Welcome back guys, I am Rambo Hustle, the host for the Hip Hop Report. And I hate that intro, but I'm just gonna roll with it anyways because it's late and we gotta get this in motion. Now, today I would like to talk about a project that we talked about a little bit on the latest episode of Talk Your Shit. Uh, and I just felt like it needed a deeper dive. I mean, it's only a five song, I guess EP you could call it. Uh, I think Fora is a artist that understands his fan base. He's kind of like chosen his sound and is now really pushing the envelope on what is going to happen with that sound. As far as feeding his uh, fan base what they have shown that they are into. You know, his new project Love Is Hell gives you five records, uh, all pretty much under the same landscape of content and topics and subject matter and gives you a real insight on what he can do um, vocally and whether that be rapping or vocally singing there's only one feature on these five songs and that's from trippy red on the lead single um and even that record i think is really strong and it's actually a really strong record for trippy red in regards of really fitting into fora's world in what he's trying to do sonically and with his content as far as making love records for girls and you know like that is his thing you know whether you're a guy that wants to feel comfortable doing the emotional Drake thing and saying hey like this is how I feel or you're a girl that wants a guy that talks to them in this manner and you're kind of like a romantic hopeful romantic this is the product project for you from uh, the, the title track with Trippy Red to the second title to the moon which I feel is only second to feel, which I think is uh, one of the standout records from the five. When Four was here, it was on a Monday night. He was about two hours late to the show, not because of his fault, but something happened mechanically with the bus, and they were an hour and a half late. To my surprise, the crowd didn't move a inch. They sat there and waited on a Monday night. This is a school night or a work night, no matter what age you are. And the ages were actually quite diverse in the crowd. Uh, now, as far as from what I know from Fora, uh, he's not new to the game. He's been putting out work and music for a long time. And he's got some amazing records that deal with everything from depression to love to, you know, pretty much everything that is currently being... I mean, not pushed. I think that's the narrative within the lifestyle of uh, younger kids, millennials that are growing up in this society that demands for them to seem perfect even though they're not and seems it uh, somewhat taboo to talk about their emotions. Uh, this is the generation that's breaking through that process of trying to actually communicate their emotions, which of course started with the Drake wave, uh, you know, some years back and of course has developed into now I guess I shouldn't even put that on Drake. I think Kanye was the one that spearheaded that. But I think Drake obviously has been the person that did this particular type of style of music the best. He really manifested what that style was going to sound like, what that style was going to be, and uh, really taking into his own terms what was going to be the new mold for a rapper. And of course now that's why we see so many rappers that sing and singers that rap and nobody knows who's doing what. But at the end of the day, good music will always prevail. And I think Forrest's five song project, Love Is Hell, showcased not only his direction, but the, the, the stuff that his fans really want. If you see from the footage in, in LA tonight, that, I mean, that's happening right now as we speak, uh, or as I'm recording this video. It's uh, it's pretty insane to see that kind of response. And if you remember when Kendrick and, and TDE came out, they did that down at the Staples Center. Now, Hollywood, I think, is even crazier because I think that area is flooded with so much tourism and so many people that may or may not know who he is. It really showcases how far his reach has reached and essentially showcases where he's at with his career in, in regards to taking the next step forward and elevating his music and his fan base to where he's going to end up being able to uh, reach his full potential, which I think is in the same lane as Logic though not as rappy he does more singing to me i feel like he's more focused on his vocals but 
I think he has more appeal. I think he has more interest, he has more star power, and I think he just has more general appeal from his image, to his personality, to who he is and as an artist, and I think the future will tell that. Once again, guys, this is Ramble Hustle. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you go ahead and do that. We got more reviews coming up. We got the Ghostface Killer review, and I'm sure by this weekend we'll have a bunch of other things to talk about. So keep it tight, stay focused, peace, love, hip hop. Back up on my bullshit like I'm asking mine in Watergate. Mixing on my wrist, ironic, deep red as an island's day. I prefer you say you suckers acting like some bitch.